Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're not Craig Alice Young, I'm Craig Alice Young. Can you prove you're Craig Alice Young? Let me see your driver's license. Uh, you don't, don't have a driver's license? Why don't they have a driver's license? Who's this child? What's your name? Jamie. Jamie. Oh, that's right. I invited Jamie to come and help me cook today. So do you know what we're making today? Uh, chocolate crinkle cookies. Chocolate crinkle cookies. They are so good. They're so much fun to make and they're really easy. So Jamie, just one second. We're just going to go through all the ingredients we need. So make sure you've all got all these ready. We need some plain flour. We need some white sugar. Now, brown sugar will work as well. You just use whatever you like, really. Uh, cocoa powder. I've got the stuff called Dutch Processed Cocoa Powder, which is really good. It's really rich. It's really nice. Uh, now we've got a little bit of salt, a little bit of baking powder. Now, for those of you who are vegan, you don't have to use eggs, but I'm going to make my version with eggs. Jamie is going to make the vegan version. For the vegan version, we use a little bit of flaxseed meal and some soy milk or some almond milk or whatever you've got. And then right at the end, we roll them in... What's that? Icing sugar or icing mixture. Now you can do either icing mixture, which is already made for making icing and stuff, or icing sugar if you want. But sometimes icing sugar is a little bit sort of clumpy. You've got to break it up, but we don't need that at all. Now, what have we got over here? We've got two trays, because we're making two lots of biscuits, so we're going to need them. Yeah. We've got two mixing bowls, two spoons. We've got... Some smaller bowls to mix out wet ingredients, and then lots of little bits and pieces. Cup measures, we're going to need them. Oh, olive oil, I forgot to say. Olive oil, or vegetable oil, pretty much any sort of oil. Are you ready? Yes, I Are you am. sure? Have you washed your hands? Yes, I have. That's right. Well, let's put these out of the way here. So what we're going to do is we are going to make them at the same time in two different bowls. So, can you get me that one cup measure there? The small or the big one? Well, which one do you think? Uh, the big one. The big one, that's right. You know what this one is? What? That's a half cup measure. So that is exactly half the size of that. So that's okay. one, that's a half. So we'll put one back. Now, I'm going to get you, the best way to do this is to leave that in the bowl oh, oh yeah, and, then, and then fill that up with flour. So flour doesn't go everywhere. If you make a mess, you have to clean it up. Did you know that? Did I tell you that? Keep going, nearly there. Bit more. You can put a bit more in if you want. You don't have to do it in like, you know, grain by grain. You don't want it. There we go. Tip it in the bowl. That's the way. That's really good. That's, really that's perfect. How did you get it perfect? All right, tip it in. And it's my turn. It's heavy. No, no, you tip it in. That's your bowl. Tip it in there. Good. And now I'll do mine. So I do the same thing. I do it like this though. Because I'm just really tough. Let's see. Right, what have we got next? One cup of sugar. Right, let's just get rid of this flour. Uh, that out of the way. So just this. Wait, that's a lot of sugar. It is a lot of sugar. Do you think uh, we should put a little bit less in, or do you like sugar? Uh, I, I like sugar. Okay, I thought you might like sugar. Right. Okay, well, here we, here we go. Put one cup of sugar in there. No, oh, that smells so good. I oh, know, it's sugar. I know there is a clumpy, but it doesn't matter. Just pour it in the pour it in the cup. That's the way. There we go. Is it nearly one? It's a little bit more. One it smells more. great. Uh. Yeah, sugar's good. You know why else that smells good? Because I sometimes keep vanilla bean pods in here, and it smells really good. Right, tip your sugar in there. Get your nose out of my sugar. Tip it in. And then give me that cup back. Stop smelling the sugar. What's wrong with you? Don't you ever get sugar at home? Right, here we go. Don't try this at home. There we go. I'm really tough. I'm telling you. I'm really good at this. Okay, put this one away. What's next on our list? Half a cup of cocoa powder. Now, you grab the cocoa powder, the half cup measure. What we're going to do, put it in your bowl. Now, can you fill that up 
with that beautiful, nice, dark cocoa powder. It smells good. It smells so good, this cocoa powder. It makes it really, really, really dark. You can just use the normal cocoa powder if you want, but this Dutch process stuff, I don't know what those Dutch people are doing to make this, but it's so good. Here we go, keep going. Are there any other flavours of this? Uh, of cocoa? Yeah, um, yeah, I mean not of cocoa, I'll just chop it and wood. Oh, that's a really good question. I suppose you could do lots of things, couldn't you? You could put other things in it. Yeah. Oh. You, know what? you know what would be really nice in it? What? Peppermint. Do you like peppermint? Uh, there's our, I don't know what that would be like. I'll, I'll prefer vanilla. Oh, vanilla? Okay. okay. Right, well, well, I'm just going to use my cup and I'm just going to fill it halfway up. Look, did you make that mess? Yes. Was that you? Mm. Oh, well, let's just leave it there. Yeah, I don't, I don't really mind. I don't mind at all. Right, tip it in. Into your bowl. There we go. Oh, oh, it's it's so good, isn't it? Right, now we need, can you find me a teaspoon measure? Not a teaspoon, that's one the one. Teaspoon measure. Right, now I'm going to put half a teaspoon of salt. So hold it steady for me. I could get out the half teaspoon measure, but I can't be bothered. There we go. Throw that in. You don't have to that's smell right. salt. I, I, I want to see what it smells like. There we go. Taste. Chuck it in there. Mine in there too. So about half this one. Right, throw that in. Now the last thing we need of the dry ingredients is baking powder. So we're going to need that teaspoon again. Okay. One teaspoon. So you scoop out one teaspoon out of there. One whole teaspoon. That's the way. Yep, perfect. Throw it in. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. Throw it yeah, in perfect. and wing it all day. You know, I've got to be somewhere later. Actually, I don't. I don't have anywhere to be. Here we go. One for me, too. What is next on our list? Okay, that's all the dry ingredients. So, grab a spoon. Now, we need to stir this together. But because there's lots of flour and cocoa powder, and it's going to go everywhere. So, what, what I want you to do is this. Scoop down like that. Oh, oh, yeah, and just turn the bowl it. while you're doing it. So, turn your bowl a little bit as you go. Yes, I know. I saw that. Done. I reckon we're good. Yeah. Right, now we're going to put these aside for a second. I'm the metal bowl, you're that bowl there. Oh, they've made this mess. Was that you? Yeah, I always do. Oh, yeah, I've got to keep going. Now, we get to the bit where we have to add the wet ingredients. So, we're going to each take a bowl. What you're going to do is you're going to put a big heat tablespoon of flaxseed meal into your bowl. Yep. Big heat. That's the way. One big one of them. Throw that in there. Carefully. Brilliant. Well done. Right. Now just, just sort of hold there for a second. Now let me just see whether I have got... That's one third of a cup. So we're going to have one third of a cup of... What's this one? Soy milk. Yeah. So, do you want me to pour it? I'll pour it. I'll pour it, you stir. So I want you to stir that in to the flaxseed meal. So what the flaxseed meal does is it takes on the role of the egg. So it basically pumps up a little bit and makes a binding agent for the biscuits. You can use it in all sorts of cookies and cakes, all sorts of things like that. Pancakes with flaxseed meal are really good. So if you don't want to eat eggs, give this a go. Keep mixing, I don't want to see any lumpy bits there. While you're doing that, I'm going to just use eggs. So we've got two eggs. Straight in the bowl there. And I just thought I'm going to get that. Just give them a little bit of a whisk up. How's yours going? Oh, well done. No lumps. Right, the next part is olive oil. So I'm using olive oil, you can use vegetable oil, you could use coconut oil, anything you like. So I'll just pour this because it's really felt full. I didn't realise how full it was when I filled it up. So one third of a cup of olive oil. And then I want you to mix that all the way through so that it's really well combined. When's that ready? There, stop, let's go. There we go, mix that wow, one up. That looks awesome. It has does all it? Like, it has all, all it does. It's sort of separated, isn't it? I 
Okay, here we go. It's a really slow jug, this. I could have used a big jug, I suppose. How are we going? It's not really going to combine that well because you've got oil and sort of water and stuff, but it'll do all right. Okay, mix it up. You could use a fork. Actually, use a fork. That might be better. Give me that spoon. Now, what I'll show you a really good way to do this. So hold it like this, so it's flat, okay? And then do it in little circles like that. Keep it under the water, under the liquid, and just little circles. So you're going like this. Okay. See? And if you do it fast enough, that all combines together. It's a little mushy now. Yep, see, mine's all combined. Mine is a little easier with the eggs. Here, let me give yours one final little whisk. It doesn't matter, it's all going to combine in the mixture anyway, but we'd like to just get it. There we go, that's pretty good. Now, let me just get a spatula out. Now, grab your bowl of dry ingredients, and I want you to pour this into the dry ingredients. One big plop. need a spatula. We might use the spatula on yours because yours is a little thicker. So let's just get that. Take that fork for me. Yep. Take the, throw that in the sink. Now we have to get mixing. Now this, sometimes I do this using a stand mixer and to be quite honest it's much easier. But we're not going to today, we're going to just do it by hand. So just start mixing. Mixing, work mixing. It, oh, what are you doing? Oh, flour everywhere. I'm going to have to wash that now. Anyway. I'll just leave it for next time. Yeah. Now, you might find that it doesn't look like it's, re it's really, you know, wet enough. Keep on just folding it through, trying to get right to the bottom, getting all that dry ingredients up, mixing it through. It looks like it's not going to work, does it? But you just got to keep on mixing it until it all comes together. This is the part I usually go, this is boring, I'm putting it in my mixer, but I'm not going to today, unless I get really annoyed. Come on. I have a spatula. Spatula, yes. We let go, here it is. You're gonna use the spatula. That's the way, why don't we move the spoon? I think the spoon might be better actually. No, I think it would be better. Let me just give it a little bit of a mix first because your one's slightly different from mine. We might need to put a little bit more liquid in yours because it doesn't have egg in it. But it's getting there, look. We just keep smushing it down. There we go, you just take that, keep smushing. That's a real cooking word, smushing. Mine's getting there, smush down. Are you doing this in a mixer at home? It's so much easier. Let's have a go at yours. Yours are pretty good. Just got to scrape down on the bottom there. I'm just going to put a little tiny bit more soy milk in yours. Actually, I'm going to put a bit of mine too. Don't tell anyone. Keep going. Keep mixing. It's a little bit dry. A little splash of milk or a little bit more olive oil in. Oh, look, that was made a huge difference. That. Okay, now the fun part. We're each going to have our own baking tray. There. Move all this away. Cooking's messy, isn't it? So messy. Do you do cooking at home? Uh, no, not much. I think you should start cooking dinner for your entire family. I don't know, I've got maybe. I think you should. Yeah. You heard it here first. Well, I can do the Oh, look at that, that's awesome. Anyway, we're just going to leave that there. Right, now, this is the fun part. We're going to get a bowl. We're going to get a bowl each. And we're going to take some icing mixture. What's that? That's my dogs. They're chasing someone. It's probably a cat. Or a person. Or a dog. Yeah, really okay, so now this is what you have to do. 
You've got to get it all organised. So, we've got clean hands, don't we? Yeah. Good. So, you're going to get a spoon. Grab a spoon. And I want you to dip down and just take about that much. About a spoonful. Okay? And then we're going to put it in our hands. Our hands are going to get really dirty. There's nothing you can do about that. I'll show you, look. So try and get them round about the same size. Now once you've rolled them in this icing sugar, roll them really well in the icing sugar, and then put them on your baking tray. They're not going to spread out too much, so you don't have to worry too, too much about them joining together if they spread out like some biscuits. You can also put this mixture in the fridge for a couple of hours. That actually makes it really easy to use, but we don't have time for that, do we? We're way too busy, Jamie and I, for that sort of silliness. You wouldn't just eat these um, uh, randomly, you'd eat them like that for dessert or something. No, you eat them all day long. They're really good for you. They're full of sugar and stuff. Okay, now, let's go and wash our hands. Right, Jamie, I reckon we're, we're almost ready to go here. Here's a towel, dry your hands. Look at this. We're I covered in flour and icing sugar. Oh, well, it doesn't matter, does it? Yeah. It okay, does. now, I'll put these in the oven. Wait, you have two? We've got two ovens. Yeah. So, the oven is at oh, about 190 degrees. Now, let me just put these ones in. So you have to remember yours are on the bottom and mine are on the top. And we're going to set the timer for, oh, let's set it for about 12 minutes, something like that. So now the cookies are in the oven, you just have to wait, really. So last time, I think you might remember, do you remember what I did last time? I sang a song. Oh, yeah. I sang Waltzing Matilda. So now Jamie is going to sing Walsing Matilda! No, I'm not. Oh, he's not. No. Um, I actually know for a fact that Jamie's parents are both fantastic musicians. And Jamie has learned to play the double bass. So I thought what we could do while we're waiting for our biscuits to sort of all cook in the oven, we could play your piece. Is that a good idea? Yeah. Right. So you're going to come up here, come up here. You've got to tell everyone what piece we're going to play. But we're going to play, play a piece called Marla, and it's, and, it's, and it's kind of like you're supposed to be carrying a coffin. Oh, like, like there we go. Oh, I mean? oh, I, I'm practicing. Yeah, he's practicing. Okay. Now, we're going to play this little piece. Jamie's going to play the melody first, and I'm going to play the symphony part, and then we're going to swap over, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Well, first of all, 
Um, why don't you go over there and get ready? Get ready. We're going to do something over there, remember? You go over there and get ready. First of all, let's tell you about what's going to happen next weekend. We're going to do a special Mother's Day musical menus cooking with kids. We're going to make some French toast. And I'm going to see how clever all of you people are because I'm going to get you to decide how you're going to decorate it. You might want to do fresh berries, maybe some cream. What about some caramelised banana? Maybe some nuts. There are lots of things you can put on French toast. So we're going to do the basic version and we're going to do a vegan version and then you're going to decide what you want to put them on. Then you can send us the photos to Musical Menus. We'll put them on the website so everyone can see how incredibly good you are at cooking. Now also, please go to my Musical Menus YouTube page and hit subscribe. We just put a video up there yesterday, I think it was, where I made a moon cake. Now this was for a violinist in the Queensland Symphony Orchestra, Katie Betts. And her little boy was turning four. Hi Harrison! He was turning four and I made him a beautiful little moon cake. He couldn't really have a birthday party because he couldn't have friends over, so I went and delivered a cake to his front door and they got to have a delicious birthday cake. So go to Musical Menus, check out that cake. Now, we're going to go, we might actually do another song, but we might go over there. So you take over there. We just, we just happen to have Marion and Stephen. Jamie's playing the banjo. So uh, here we go. This could be interesting. This is a song that we wrote for Spotty Kites. It came out as a Christmas version last year, and we've got another version, which is a holiday version. Um, it's actually written for an alto, so it's very, very high in my voice, but um, you'll get the idea. So oh, we, I need a hat, apparently. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Pack up your suitcase, remember your hat. The neighbors are feeding a black and white cat. You need your toothbrush and also your comb. Let's pack a beach ball before we leave home.
They're still not cooked. So what are we going to do for two minutes? What else do you like to eat? Uh, usually maybe um, uh, cheese burgers and stuff. Except we couldn't cook these here because musical menus are usually desserts. Oh, it doesn't always have to be desserts. Oh, I did a mushroom burger a couple of weeks ago on my musical menus page. That was really good. Mushroom was really yummy. Uh, what else have I done? Oh, I did a really good roast vegetable sauce. I think you had some of that the other night. Did you like it? Do you remember when we came over? Uh, we oh had yeah. pasta? Yeah, I love you it. You thought it was the best, say it to the camera, that was the best thing I've ever eaten. It was probably one of the best sauces I've ever had. Oh, that's amazing. I can't believe you said that. That's so nice. Thanks, Jamie. Let's check on those biscuits. Let's look at your ones. Oh, they're pretty good. So we do, we discussed this last time. When you're baking biscuits, you don't want to take them out when they're hard. Because if they're hard, they've been in the oven too long and they'll be really, really crunchy and really way too hard. You've overcooked them. So you need to take them out when they're still a little bit soft. Ours are nearly ready. I'm just going to go and get a tray. Ready to stay there? Nice. Put that there. Okay. What? Seven seconds. Why is this so such hard work? Okay, are we ready? Why do you have why are we out there? Oh, we're ready. Okay, stand back, stand back. Hot stuff. Gotta be careful with an oven, don't you? Especially when it's this hot. I'll take out your ones first. There they are. Don't touch them. They're really, really, really super hot. And then take out my ones. Right, out of the way, out of the way, back, back, back. Here we go. Shut the oven. Turn it off. Wow, that was awesome. Oh, you can hear them. Oh, yeah. Oh, they smell so good, don't they? Yeah. Well, yeah. that's about it, Jamie. Um, I think I'm just going to keep them all and eat them because they look so good. Is that all right? I'm going to keep that one. You want to keep some yourself? Yeah, of course. All right, I suppose. So you take them home and I'll keep these ones. How's that? Okay, well, that's all we have for Musical Menus Facebook Live today. I hope you've made some beautiful cookies. We will see you next weekend for Mother's Day brunch. 10am, I'll be cooking with some other small people making a beautiful brunch for their mother. And I think I might even have my mother on speakerphone or something so we can say hi to my mum too. Shall we say goodbye? Yeah. Bye! Bye!